Hey there, Chris Vicente here back again with you and in this video what I want to talk to you about is casting your vision. And so uh, in the previous video what we talked about was discovering your purpose and how essential uh, having a definiteness of purpose is to achieving your goals and to achieving higher levels of success not only in your business but in life, right? And so the way that I like to look at it and I got this quote I don't know exactly where this came from or what the source is, so if you know, please leave a comment below or send me a message so I can give credit where credit's due. Uh, but I got this quote uh, from somebody on Facebook, and um, they it, it applies to purpose like this. So it says, the most important day of your life was when you were born, and the second most important day of your life was when you found out why, right? powerful and and that's all about having a definiteness of purpose understanding why you were born and what impact you you want to make in the world right and so your vision is simply an expression of your purpose right your vision that you have for what you want to do in your life and your purpose comes completely from, from within, right? Remember we did that activity in the last video where we took your talents, your interests, your values, and your intuition, and out of those things, you wrote a purpose statement, right? And all of that comes from within. But your vision is also an expression of your goals right? And your goals come from without, right? They come from the outside, usually. Um, and in most cases, when people set goals, <clears throat> they usually set their goals without any understanding or any connection to their purpose or vision. And usually the only reason a, perp uh, a person sets a goal is because it's based on maybe the achievements or accomplishments of someone else, right? And so usually when, when that's the case, and uh, usually what happens is one of two things. Either number one, they don't achieve their goal because there's no real meaning behind it, right? And they don't know why they want to achieve the goal, and so they don't do it. Or number two, they do achieve their goal, but they're unfulfilled, right? It, there's, there, again, there's no meaning to fulfill them, so them achieving that goal <clears throat> brings no meaning into their life. And so that's why it's so important that you begin with the end in mind, um, as Stephen Covey says in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, right? Begin with the end in mind, have a definiteness of purpose, and have that be the core of everything that you do and connect that to the goals that you want to achieve in life. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this, right? Uh, and so here's what I want to do. I want to do a little bit of an activity. And so as you can see here, your vision is, your vision is the glue that holds everything together. And by the end of this video, if you pay attention, you're going to see and you're going to know exactly how to cast that out into the world to achieve what you want, to live a better quality of life, uh, and to fulfill, to work towards fulfilling your purpose, right? So, what I want to do is a little activity. I want to break down the goals, right? Um, and I want to bring this full circle for you. And so... If you're watching this video, or um, however you got on this mailing list or started watching this video series, it's very likely that you were looking that you're looking for a way to make money online, or maybe you're already in business for yourself, and maybe you're looking for a way to achieve better results, uh, to become more effective inside your business. Whatever the case right, you probably have a goal for what you want to achieve. And so for most people that are looking to make money online, 
they have a probably a dollar figure goal and it usually ranges anywhere from five thousand a month as a monthly income goal anywhere up to like thirty thousand dollars a month and that's to start right for most people that are just doing research looking for a way to make money online looking to start a business their income goal usually falls within that range, right? And so here's what I want you to do. I want you to do this activity with me. I want you to get out a pen and paper and take notes on everything that we're talking about here because this is gonna be a process that's gonna guide you to the success that you deserve, right? So goals, right? So you, you very likely have a goal in mind for what it is that you want to achieve. I just want you to be honest with yourself Right? Because this activity is, is, is for you. I want you to be honest with yourself and I want you to write out what your goal is. Right? Whatever your goal is. Whatever, whether it's maybe just to make a couple extra hundred bucks a month or if you have lofty and grand goals and you want to make hundreds of thousands per month. Whatever your goal is, I want you to write it out. So I'm just going to write out $10,000 per month. That's actually what a lot of people say. That's a pretty fair average of when I survey people of what income level they want to reach inside of their business. All right. But usually when most people write out their goal, that's where it stops, right? That's where it stops. But I want to do this activity, and this is an activity that uh, I got from my mentor, and he actually did this at a conference, oh, it was actually in January of 2013, it just helped me have tremendous breakthroughs, right, and I hope that it does the same for you. So make sure to pay attention, make sure to do this activity, you should already have a goal written out, and so what I'm going to ask you is, when you achieve that goal, what is that going to get you? What is that going to get you that you don't have right now in your life, right? Or why is it that you want to achieve that goal that you wrote down, right? So write it out right underneath that. When you get to an income level of whatever you have set, what is that going to get you? Most people say something like freedom. Whether it be like time freedom or financial freedom or not having to work anymore or retire my spouse, right? It usually has to do with some sort of freedom, right? being able to work on your terms, right? Making sure all the bills are paid, all of that usually re relates to, to freedom. But I'm gonna ask you the question again. When you get that, when you get freedom, or whatever you wrote down, right? Do the, make sure to do this activity, write your own answers. Usually it'll come, the first couple answers will come to mind right away. But I'm gonna ask you again. Once you achieve that, what is that going to get you that you don't have right now? So write it out, whatever the next thing is for you. What is that going to get you that you don't have right now? Right. And usually, so hopefully you've written it down now. If not, that's okay. If you draw a blank, that's okay. Just, just follow along with me. Um, this is going to make a lot of sense in a moment here. But hopefully you've all written something down. And so usually the next answer is something like to be able to spend time with family, to travel, to expand my business. Right? It's usually something that you're going to do when you're free, right? Makes sense. But I'm going to ask the question again. And this is where 
sometimes people start to get upset or a little aggravated because they've never had to dig this deep. But I'm asking you to dig deep. I'm asking you to dig down a little bit, right? So I'm going to ask you again. When you get this, what is that going to get you that you don't have right now? And I'm going to let you come up with this on your own. So right, whatever comes to mind, once you get this, what is that going to get you that you don't have right now? And at this point, usually, many people's minds start to go blank, right? It's, it becomes harder and harder to come up with an answer. Maybe you're experiencing that right now. Maybe not. But I'm going to ask again. If you've come up with an answer, what is that going to get you that you don't have right now? Usually at this point, people have either given up on this, right? Saying, what's the point of doing this? Or they have this blank stare, right? When I do this with uh, people in person, they, they sort of get that glazed over stare that, like, where are you going with this, Chris? Just tell me the answer, right? I just want the answer. You've got to dig deep. And when you do that, something something pretty powerful is going to happen, right? And if you did this correctly, and there's no correct answer, by the way, just go with whatever comes to mind, whatever's in your heart. Now, I'm not going to fill this in just yet, but I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Back in, it was in Austin, uh, an event in Austin, where uh, my mentor did this activity on stage with uh, the entire the entire room, and when I got to, to this part right here, my mind was just blank. I couldn't come up with an answer. I had no idea, right? The activity was over, still didn't have an answer. Everybody, it seemed like everybody else in the room had the answer. I didn't have an answer. I didn't know, right? And the event was over. <laughs> it was still bothering me. I was like, well, I, I don't have an answer. I, I just don't know. What is that going to get me? And something happened after the event, and I'll actually sh probably share footage on this um, a little bit later, right, in a couple days or so. But if you were on my mailing list back in the time, uh, you might have saw the video on this. But uh, something happened at the event where it just all came to me at once, right? And I just understood and I knew exactly what my answers were for these, right? And maybe the same thing will happen to you. You might walk away from this video and still not have an answer. And if you go to bed tonight, and if this is bothering you, if you don't have an answer, just simply tell your brain, tell your mind that I'm going to find an answer to that question. What is that going to get me? Right? And you might wake up in the middle of the night with the answer. You might wake up the next morning. might take a couple days. Who knows, right? But what I'm getting at is this. If you got all the way to the end of this activity, you're going to find that these answers here almost always, like 99% of the time, align exactly with the purpose statement that you wrote the day before. I mean, it's going to be uncanny, right? And maybe you already made the connection. But do you see how if you drill down from your initial goal and you drill down and you ask that question, what is that going to get me? You know what it's going to get you to? It's going to get you to your purpose, right? And do you see how everything comes full circle? How your vision is an expression of your purpose, which comes from within, right? And your vision is also an expression of your goals, which come from without, right? It's the glue that holds everything together when you're looking to achieve success. And that's not everything, though. 
right? So let me fill in these answers. Usually, the fourth answer has something to do with making an impact, right? Impacting or inspiring other people, serving other people. And usually the fifth one, and it might, for you it might be more, it might be less, right? You, you might not have to dig down as far. It just varies from person to person. But usually the fifth one is is an expression of living your purpose, right? Whether it's to serve people, or some people say to like serve God, or whatever it is to fulfill your purpose, you're going to see that direct connection in whatever you write there. And so if you have people that uh, you teach or that you coach, I would highly, highly encourage you to do this activity with them because it's going to bring everything together and gain full insight. Friends, this actually, to, to bring all of this together, took me like seven years of reading and studying and I'm just giving you <laughs> this wealth of information, right? That I, I pieced this together from different books and different seminars that I went to. But this is a powerful activity. But it doesn't stop here, right? So how do you then cast your vision out to the world? Well, it's a three-step process. Number one, oops, you have to focus on your vision and you have to focus daily. You might hear people talk about visualization or imagination, right? Imagining. Well, your vision contains very, very creative elements, right? So number one, in order to cast your vision out, you have to use your creative faculties, right? You, you have the ability to create whatever it is, whatever masterpiece that you want, you have the ability to create it in your mind. And you have the ability to imagine it, right? So you have the ability to create and imagine your vision. To just take something that comes from nothing and create a masterpiece that's made up of your goals and purpose, right? And so you need to focus on it daily. And to get better insight into that, what I would recommend is that you read the book Psycho-Cybernetics. I'm going to spell that out. It's the book Psycho-Cybernetics. It might be republished under like the new psycho-cybernetics, uh, but it was, it was written by Maxwell Maltz, and he breaks down the visualization, the creative process, and he breaks down, a, he, he gives you a specific formula on how to do this to be able to cast your vision out to the world, right? And that's step one. Um, step number two is faith. You have to have an unwavering faith and know that no matter what, you're going to live your purpose. And no matter what, you know like you know that you're going to achieve your goals and there isn't anything that's going to stop you, right? You have to come from it, uh, come at it with that mentality and that confidence. And so you have to have an unwavering faith. Right? And faith is made up of three things. So there's desire, belief, and expectancy. So desire, belief, and expectancy make up faith. Right? And so the last thing that you need is to take action.
And when you look at this, when you focus, It's rooted in your purpose, and it's rooted in your goals, right? So you've got to focus. You have to see yourself in your mind achieving your goal by fulfilling your purpose, right? You have to actually see it, all of the details in your mind, you actually achieving your goal. You have to act, literally see the money being deposited into your bank account. You've got to visualize what your bank account looks like. You have to visualize yourself speaking with customers, speaking with prospects on the phone. And I'm going to actually cut away right now to a very, very quick video uh, segment that I uh, recorded about six months back. Um, which will just give you a little bit more idea on the visualization process, all right? And then we'll come back and we'll talk more. The fourth one is the most powerful. It's imagination, right? You take all of these emotions that you've meditated on and you take that and you bring, take all of that feeling and you bring it into whatever you want and you transform it into a desire, and you transform it and you bring it into fruition, right? So you take all of that emotion, and you take that emotion, and you see exactly, you imagine in your mind exactly what it is that you want. So as an example, let's just say that you want to start your own business. So when you imagine you imagine yourself already successful in that business and you see all of the details. You see all of the employees maybe that work for you. You see yourself going out on sales calls and talking to other business owners. You see yourself in your office working, dealing with contractors on the phone, you know, in front of your employees at meetings making new business deals, succeeding. You see your bank account growing. You see your family and you see the impact that it has on them. And you see yourself living in a new house. You see yourself driving that new car and you imagine whatever it is that you want to create, whatever it is that you're inspired to create and you feel it and you feel it. And I do this until tears are flowing from my eyes, tears of happiness, tears of gratefulness tears of joy because you know like you know that this has already happened that you've already manifested it that you've already brought it into your life right and if you can meditate from that state of mind then friends you're going to turn a want into a desire and you're going to transform energy and you're going to transform your life Okay, so do you see how much emotion and how much feeling you have to put into focusing on your vision, right? Because the creative process is all about feeling the feeling of success, feeling the feeling of living on purpose, feeling the feeling of achieving your goal. And if you can feel it, and visualize it, if you think about the feeling that you put into it is the fuel that makes this happen, then you're going to start to see amazing things transform in your business, in your life, in what you're working towards achieving, right? And so with the faith, now the faith is very, 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 very important, right? have to have unwavering faith that no matter what happens you still know like like you know that you're going to achieve your goal right you just have to know with a thousand percent certainty and with the actions that you take by you actually taking actions daily towards living on purpose and towards achieving your goals, right? So the income producing activities that get you to that goal that you have set for yourself is sending the signals to your mind, to the universe, is sending the signals that you're serious about this. And if you're all aligned, 
right? If you're aligned in your purpose, your vision is aligned with your goals, that's when you're going to start to see results, right? But usually what happens when, when you first start taking action, what many people do is they associate their outcome with failure or, or success, either way, right? So what, what happens a lot of time is somebody will get all, you know, somebody will get all excited and they'll start focusing, they'll say they have faith, and then they go out there and take action and they don't get any results, right, in what they're doing. And they say, oh, this stuff doesn't work. Because they're associating the outcome of their action with whether or not it's going to work. And you just cannot do that, right? Because the outcome, let's just say, if, let me give a specific example. Let's say that you, know, you start a business online and you go out there and you place an ad. You spend $1,000, you place an ad online, it drives... 10,000 visitors to your website and nobody buys anything. Wow, you just spent ten. Uh, you just spent a thousand dollars. Ten thousand visitors came through, but no one bought a thing, right? And many people would associate that with failure, right? But not people that are success conscious. Not people that are aligned not people that are tuned into their vision that truly have unwavering faith. Because for those people, there's no such thing as failure. It's only feedback. So if you take that feedback, that outcome as feedback, and you look at it and you analyze it, almost always you'll find a gem of wisdom that's a thousand times more valuable than that perceived failure, right? And so, you probably heard this saying before, but a rocket on, the, on course to the moon is off track 99.9% .9 of the time, right? The rocket's going to the moon, and it's constantly correcting, right? Off track, it's correcting, off track, it's correcting. That's how you have to approach the action that you take, right? You take action, you analyze the outcome to correct course. And you continue to do that, and as you do that, that builds your faith, right? And as you continue to focus on that, what starts to happen when you truly do have faith and when you truly are focused in and visualizing daily, what happens is that in the faith process, you'll start to get you'll start to get inspiration. Right? So when you're focusing in and you're meditating daily and you're visualizing daily, during that quiet time, answers will just come to you, right? Or actions that, uh, that your mind wants you to take will just come to you if you're tuned in and if you have faith, right? And if you take those actions, right, it'll just get you closer to your goals. So do you see how this alignment works, right? And how all of these, so these actions, again, are rooted in your purpose. And they're rooted in your goals. And so, you know what's powerful about the goal setting process? When it's aligned with your purpose and your vision, as you grow and as you achieve your goals, all you have to do is just expand your mind and expand your your uh, your vision and here's what I mean what most people do when they achieve a goal let's say they get to this goal of let's say it's ten thousand dollars a month in income they get stuck there right and they fail to set a new goal right and they get stuck at wherever they're at and so as soon as you hit your goal as soon as you hit your goal the minute you hit it You've got to redo this process again. So you've just got to reset your goal. So you can just erase this, right? And let's say now that instead of 10,000, your income is 30,000. Right, 30,000 a month. 
And you've got to go through the same process and dig down to your purpose. So you ask yourself the same question. When I have that, what is that going to get me that I don't have now? Right? And you'll notice that your answer may be a little different than the first time. Because the first time, you were looking for freedom. Now, you already have it, so this answer is going to be different. Right? And usually it'll be something like to reach more people, to serve more people. That's a common one. But you know what's amazing about this? Now, you won't have to dig as far. Usually you'll only, you'll only have to go either two or three levels down to drill down to your purpose. And then this will all be connected again, right? And then you now when you focus and when you visualize, you're focusing on achieving that new goal, right? And I would say every six months to a year, just reevaluate your purpose. It might change a little bit, but overall, you're going to find that it's going to stay the same, right? But as soon as you hit that new goal, make sure you go through that process again and dig down, and pretty soon, you're going to get to the point to where your goal is no longer an income goal, right? Your goal, your first level, is aligned with your purpose, right? And when you get to that point, and you're in complete alignment, the things that you're going to be able to do, the impact that you're going to be able to have, not only with your business, but in life with other people, is going to be inspiring, right? And so, powerful process. Do it. Pay attention. Make sure to implement this, and you're going to see the results that you deserve. And so, what I'm going to do is, over the course of uh, actually in the next video series I'm gonna break down focus faith and action right I'm gonna go in depth and show you exactly how you should be focusing daily um, I would recommend at least 15 to 30 minutes daily just imagining focusing on your vision right and as you do that your vision will become more and more clear. You'll, you'll start to see more and more details inside your vision until it actually becomes more real and it seems more real than reality itself, right? And when you get to that point and you get that tuned in and you have that much faith, then there isn't anything that's gonna stop you from achieving your goal, right? And we're gonna get uh, dig deeper into faith and what that means and how to bring that about. And then this is a powerful one. So you want to make sure to watch the next video series because I'm going to break down the four actions uh, that you'll need to take to start making money online right now, right? So I'll break that down in the next video series. Uh, I hope this helped you, right? Uh, this video series. I hope this gave you a good understanding, a deep understanding of your purpose, how that relates to your vision, how that relates to your goals, and how to apply that into your life, into your business right now, so you can start getting the results that you deserve. So here's what I'll tell you. If you're watching this video, and if you're looking for a way to make money online, align with us, right? Get aligned here, and align with business partners that can help you achieve higher levels of success, so click the link below, get instant access to our business system if you haven't already. Join us, right? Take the trial, get a full understanding. We'll break down and we'll explain our entire success formula. And then we'll get you tuned in and dialed in and locked in and share with you exactly what you need to do to start making money online. And if you already have a business, then apply this, right? Apply this and you'll start to see results. And I'll tell you, if you're already in business, but let's say maybe it's not aligned with your purpose, then align with us, right? Join us. Now, I don't want to distract you. If, you're, if what you're doing right now is already aligned with your purpose, I tell you to keep doing it, right? 
because I don't want to take anybody away from their purpose. But if you're not aligned with your purpose, align with us, or at least check out and see what we have to offer and see if it's something that you're passionate about. And if it is, I'm going to tell you, we're going to dive deeper into the theory of success. We're going to dive deeper into the practicality of success and show you how to apply these principles in your life and for you to get the results that you deserve. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and uh, hope you have a great day. Bye for now.